Hi everyone, this is Mr Neil Wright, a consultant audiologist and director of Cluax. Thank you for joining me in another demonstration video of our recently developed wax scope, which is due to be launched in early December 2022, we hope. Uh, if you are interested in the wax scope, please do email info at clearwax.co.uk and we can add you to our mailing list. So I have a patient here who attended with bilateral fully occluding earwax. We're just commencing in this their left ear and I'm using our 4.25 millimeter speculi. And as you can see, I've just dilated and straightened the patient's auditory canal. I've adjusted the focus um, so we can see the wax and in instrument really clearly. And I'm just using the sucker to slowly but surely um, manipulate this wax out of the ear canal. And you can see it's just coming past the first bend as we speak. And it's come out in a large lump, and you'll see that if you um, continue to watch until the end of the video, you'll have a still image of that. Just re-entering the, the patient's ear, and I'm going to now adjust the focus to visualise the patient's eardrum. You can see how clear it is now just by adjusting the focus. That's one of the benefits of the wax scope. Um, uh, when you to, to adjust the focus, it's a simple swipe on the app, uh, just with your finger, and so it just makes it much more user-friendly. You're not having to lean forwards and and uh, reposition your body, so it's less strenuous. It puts less strain on your back, neck, and your arms um, compared to when you're using a microscope or loops, for example. So this is the patient's right ear. Now they, they reported a bit of tenderness at the entrance. So the entrance of the ear was slightly uh, was slightly tender, was slightly um, uh, a bit of edema there, a bit of swelling. Um, so again, just using our four point two five millimeter speculi. Now, the consistency of this wax and keratin, it's a bit softer and mushier, uh, a bit like mashed potato, so it's a bit harder to get a suction grip because instead of suctioning, um, the sucker is actually indenting itself. You can see some of the, the indents the sucker is making into the surface of this keratin wax. In a moment, I'm going to use um, some olive oil spray. So the olive oil spray that I use, it's called um, Clear. Uh, it's a company that are the fastest growing over-the-counter ear care um, product company in the UK. And um, I've recently become their ambassador and healthcare advisor. And uh, it's a great product. Um, you can purchase it. So if you're a member of the public, you can purchase it from our Clearwax website, www.clearwax.co.uk. And you'll see uh, the shop icon. And if you're a professional and you want to um, get them at our trade prices, you can register to our shop our, uh, our professional shop so again visit our website uh, follow the for professionals tab and then you'll see shop trade shop and if you just click the link for um, ear wax sprays and drops and then you'll have to create a professional account and um, then you'll have access to our trade shop and you can buy the, um, the olive oil in, in, in bulk at trade price so you can sell it on to your customers uh, there is some other products as well there so there's an ear uh, relief um, drops solution so, which would be very suitable for this patient because, as I said, they've got a bit of tenderness inflammation at the entrance. It's not an infection of the ear, it's just a slight um, infl inflammation edema at the entrance, so it's perfect for them. And so, yeah, take a look. So you can see I've put the olive oil spray and it's just changed the whole consistency. It's just made it much easier for me to vacuum. And now I'm just going to slowly wriggle this out of the ear so it's slightly narrower. Nonetheless, a 4.25 millimeter specular is more than um, adequate. We have got a smaller size, a 3.5 millimeter, and we've also got two larger sizes, a 5 millimeter and a 5.75. But I think the 4.25 is going to be the most commonly used one. So we've just got some dead uh, keratin at the base of the ear canal here. So now we've got to be careful. We don't want to um, bump into the canal and make it uncomfortable. So we're going to hover over. And this is where the wax gets really, really great because it really gives you a good. Um, line of sight here. There's no out overlapping or obstruction with the instrument with the optical axis. So um, if the instrument's um, not inserted correctly, and it's, it's sometimes the instrument can go directly in front of the camera, essentially, and we call that uh, the optical axis. And um, if the instrument is overlapping with the optical um, axis, then it can cause distortion, it can obstruct the view. See, just to remove that, I'm just looking at the patient's eardrum there, I've just adjusted the focus. Oh, fantastic view, you can even see the incus there, and uh, the, the long process of the incus. Just some dead skin, just laterally near the entrance, I'm just gonna uh, just go back in with a sucker, just mop that up for the patient. You 
can just see how clear that image is with the instrument. Um, and because with the waxscape, the, the lens is, um, it's not in the ear, it's out of the ear. So there's no chance of obstruction there with the instrument as well. So it, allow, it gives you all the operational um, space within the side of the ear. So the plug to the left was the patient's left ear and to the right, it's the, uh, the right ear. Uh, you got a pencil there to give you some perspective. So I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you are interested in the Waxscape, please do um, email info at clearwax.co.uk and we should add you to our mailing list. Thank you. Bye.